Hey, I want to share with you a tip regarding your videos and more importantly, those pesky thumbnails that you get. Now, you see a video here. I uh, just recorded this this morning, putting it on my website. And it's a video talking about the difference between good and great speakers. Now, when I uploaded it, uh, obviously, I could pick the thumbnail that's there, but it just kind of stands bland uh, here on the website. So here's what I strongly suggest that everybody does. Um, now, obviously, we've got the, the ability to do this. I use Vimeo whenever I'm embedding video into uh, my website, I just like the video player. It's cleaner. It doesn't have the suggested videos at the end and all that kind of garbage. So what I ended up doing was I went through and I found the ideal thumbnail that I wanted to, to keep. Okay. So, right. So um, whatever it was. So I, what I did is I, I did it in iMovie. Um, so here's iMovie. Uh, I went through and I found that exact thumbnail right? Whatever one it was. I think it was this one here. Uh, then I exported it as a file. Okay. Uh, now you may be saying, why am I using iMovie? Doing quick videos, iMovie is a great platform for that. I don't need to use Premiere for that. So there's another little sidebar with that. Uh, so I exported it as an image. Uh, then I slammed it here into uh, Photoshop and you can use any other video editor you have. And I just throw on some text just like this, the difference between good and great. Uh, and now I save this as a JPEG. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop back into my Vimeo account, going to edit the video, uh, and then down below, I'm going to actually, uh, not that one there, I'm going to choose upload, and then I'm going to find that thumbnail, which is that one right there. I'm going to upload that, which is a obviously a still of the video, but also has that text on there. So now I can save it. And now, hopefully, if all things work and I reset this here, there we go. Just stands out a bit better. It tells you exactly what this video topic is without actually having to label it above or below. So that's my tip for you today when it comes to video is you can control the thumbnails of any video that's on there. Take a still, throw it in there. Heck, if you don't even want a still, you want to put a, a stock image in some text, you have the ability to do so. So hopefully that changes your outlook on videos that you embed on your website. If you want to find out more or talk to us about video production and your business, whether it's for speakers, trainers, or coaches, you can come over to our website at bluecowmarketing.ca and wherever you found this video, if it's on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, like, comment, and share. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks and have a great day.